busters and brawlers here in Las Vegas, but we find at the Mayweather Boxing Club, super middleweight Jalen Love. How's it going, Jalen? Good, man. How are you? We're good. Jalen, what do you got going on these days, man? Um, well, just training every day. You know, um, I fight on the 28th here in Vegas at the farm on uh, the Johnny Gonzalez versus Gary Russell's card. So I'll be on that card. Um, so right now we're just preparing for that. And, you know, whatever happens after that, we'll we, we, we jump on shit. Jalen, what, what do you see in your future, in your new future after this fight? I mean, obviously, I, I believe in my talent. You know, I, and if I put my hard work and dedication behind it, I can go far. There's no limit. You know, we got a young, a lot of young guys out here that's fighting. There's no limit. We, we will never know until we, we take course. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm on a journey to, to, to become a world champion. I believe that's going to happen. And that is really close yeah. from you to becoming world champion. Yeah. Now, how are things have been you since your loss? Uh, how have you coped with that? I mean, it happens. We signed up for this. We knew that. No, no one ever signs up boxing and said, "Yo, I'll never lose." Right, right. You know, at least I don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't want it to happen, but so many things can happen in this sport, man. You can lose your life at one point. You can be knocked out with one punch. Some people never fight again from, from one punch. So you never know what can happen. I don't beat myself up over the loss that I took. I beat myself up if I can't come back from the loss that I took. Last week we saw Adrian Broner. He's a much different fighter. And he seems to change his style since his loss yeah. to where he's a much better fighter mm -hmm. and he's going to be harder to beat. Yeah. Is that the approach you're taking? I, I believe so, man. You know what? Um, I, I've took amateur losses, things like that. But as a pro loss, obviously, you know, it sticks harder. You know, um, you just go back to the drawing board, man, and try to correct every mistake that you've made in your career. You know, things that you've gotten away with. And I know right now I've been my biggest critic. My biggest critic. Um, you know, I can honestly say that when during my that, that camp with Medina, I didn't train 100% like I was supposed to. I wasn't mentally there 100%. Physically there 100%. I mean, I would feel like I was just getting by off talent and what I knew how to do. And sometimes we need a humbling experience, and I've had it. You know, and now I won't miss a beat. You don't have to tell me to run, eat right, spar extra round, whatever the case. I'm doing it, you know, on my own because I never want to feel that again. Moving on. We have the fight of the century coming up. And in Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Jalen, how do you see that fight breaking out in the fight in, in, during the fight night? How do you see that turning out? Okay, I'm a boxing fan just like anybody else. So I'm going to take myself out of the situation that I'm in and I'm going to be neutral. Okay. It's a very good fight. I love it. I'm happy it's going down. Um, I just want to be there to, to experience it and watch, and watch greatness. Um, you have Manny Pacquiao, who's a loser fighter, throws so many punches, you know, known for this deadly right hand that he has. I don't think that all those good attributes that he has will be able to well, I don't think he will be able to lay that down on May 2nd because well, of because, because, of Ma Floyd. because Floyd is a master of taking your strength away. There you go. So, in what way does Manny have a chance, if he has a chance, to win that fight May 2nd? Well, we can't really say because no one has really had a chance, right? Out of, what, 47 fights, they've all taken an L, so... People talk about a blueprint, there really is no blueprint because the man has a loss. And so I think that there is no blueprint, or we can say, oh, be aggressive and throw a lot of punches, but we've seen that happen before. That didn't work. And we saw it in the rematch where he totally took it away. There we go. Um, then we've seen it try to box tip for tat or throw punches while he's punching. We try, we see every style from the Delahoya, from the Shane Mosley, from the Corrales, I mean, from Diego Corrales, from Castillo's, they all lost. No matter what you say, how close it was or whatever, they lost. So there's no real way of saying how do you beat Floyd Mayweather. And I think Floyd will be victorious by taking away Manny Pacquiao's good attributes and doing what Floyd does best. And that's being, being smart and very intelligent 
Tekken fighter, taking your, taking away your your goodness, your your your, your positive things, and, and your strength, it, yeah, yeah, and making it your weakness. Jalen, in seeing Floyd work out here in, in the last few weeks. Have you seen him more focused, hungrier, and more determined to win this fight than ever before? Most definitely, man. Um, I think he knows that. You know, he, you know, he's going to set the bar high. I mean, he's always, he's always set the bar high, but I think now that that you know this, is, you know, this is coming out to his last one of his last fights and one of the biggest fights, generating billions of dollars. And I think he's going to set the bar at an all-time high. And what I've seen out of him sparring and hitting the bag and running, it's more. It's like 110% more. Boxersandbrawlers.com here at the Floyd Mayweather, the money team, part of the money team in Jalen Love.